What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know I start every video off now with it's been a hot minute. Well, it has. I apologize. I hope you guys are having a fun, safe, and happy summer. I know Pennsylvania, the weather's been gorgeous most of the time, which is actually quite rare for us here. Usually it's uh, bipolar, doesn't know what it wants to do, but I just wanted to pick up the camera, give you guys a life update, uh, maybe some vehicle updates. Not much has changed on the vehicle front. You see my GT4 behind me and my 2017 Raptor. Also, a uh, little bit of a modification change to the Porsche. I'll go into that a little bit more uh, a little later, but first, we're gonna head over to Mike's house, Street Speed 717. You guys have probably been wondering where the heck I've been. I used to be in his videos all the time, um, and you know he uploads pretty much daily at this point. And uh, yeah, so I just, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, I've been busy doing my own thing, just swamped with work. Uh, we'll dive into that a little bit later, but I'm gonna take my dog over to play with Piglet, and Mike has me looking at something on his Gallardo. So we're gonna head on over there, and we'll see you guys when we get there. I'm gonna deliver some sour strips. Got a blue raspberry and the summer pink lemonade. If you guys have never tried this candy from Max, Max Tuning started actual candy, started sour strips. Uh, this stuff's amazing. I figured Mike and Gino probably like it, so I'm gonna bring some to them because I've got enough candy lying around this house. Come on, dude. Come on. This is Ollie's first time at uh, Gina and Mike, so. Hey, what are you doing? Boop. <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. Okay. Like there's someone else here. I, I legit was like, well, Troy quit, so. I always quit everything I do. <laughs> no, <laughs> not your real job, it's just YouTube. No, no, yeah, just YouTube. Just the things that I actually really value just the most, Troy I quit. actually does work, and yeah, that's I, probably why he doesn't I do work. work, and the little, you know, situation report is I change jobs. You didn't so, tell anybody that yet? No, well, yeah, yeah, now, 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 now I'm telling them. I just started a new gig that hopefully should free up some more time. It's right. gonna be a grind at That'd first. Be cool. But be a grind like through winter probably, which is we're all stupid and there's nothing going on in winter anyways around yeah. here. But hopefully come springtime next year, I'll have a lot more time. I mean, I have a lot more time outside of work right now in the, in the first two weeks of starting. So uh, it should we be pretty- to back together. We need to get back to be doing some stuff. I know, we, 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 the last time I saw him was yeah. pre-pandemic. I had one of these. So I had a 2006. That was back in like 2015. Yeah. So I had a 2006 Verde Ithaca. So it's the green. So if you remember Mike's like 720, and kind of that, yeah, it's like a lime green. It was literally, it looked exactly like this. I had the super leger wing. Mike's got the really nice Fab Speed I basically air copied whatever Troy did to his, and I was like, oh, this would be cool. The copy's the guy who doesn't, you know, post anything on, on YouTube. I'll well, try to well, post I, a picture over top of here what my car yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, show him a picture of what your car was. But it, it was a pre LP guy. It too. was the same thing. It had huge straight pipes on the back Ridiculous. of it. It shot like, it shot flames like, this is about a foot off. Doesn't look like it on camera. It was, it shot flames literally to about here, and it sounded like ten shotguns going Dude, off. They're freaking gnarly. <laughs> they're and freaking gnarly. It still smells the same. I was just telling Mike, like I I walked up and I go, does it smell the same? And he goes, yep, smells the same. You got the nice screen in there. It's got the nineties uh, Audi <laughs> Volkswagen smell to it. Yeah. Yeah, got the screen, no backup. Did you just have a backup camera? It was an aftermarket backup camera. Okay. I had an LP 560 uh, bumper from RSC. He's got the LP wheels on it. I just, these cars are so timeless. And I think one of my favorite things about this car, the design cue, is I love the forward sweeping mirror. So right, instead of this pillar being kind of straight up or angled like this, they actually phased it forward. And I just think it's one of, it's, it's obviously a huge key styling point for the Gallardos, but come on. These cars, for as cheap as they are, 
you just want like a cool looking car, you don't care about really speed or anything like that, this is the car to get. <laughs> There's something about this five liter, and you know, I love the LP from the tech perspective. Like it's just, you know, it's Probably more modern. Car. Yeah, it's, it's it's an R8. It's more reliable, better transmission, better E gear, all that. Clutch better life was the clutch life was a lot better, but uh, they ruined it by putting the the five two in there because you will not get that sound at all in in the new ones. That's gonna sound better. Just I mean, with what's what's done to it too. I mean, I would say stock for stock. Maybe you would oh, kind of compare sure. them. Yeah, that thing's just, I mean, if you guys haven't heard of this car, this thing is, I can't really, you thought this was loud? Like, <laughs> this is loud, but just like race car loud. This is just like deaf people could hear this. Yeah, that's, that's how loud. loud that is. That's what this does. Yeah, when we did the revving with John's <laughs> McLaren and this in the parking garage, it was like, it was pretty ridiculous. Any car alarms? No, no, <laughs> no uh, car surprisingly alarms? not. I really thought it would happen, but uh, it was crazy loud though. This one will do, loud. this This will set some car alarms off because I did in mine. Cause mine, yeah, mine was straight high pipe. Pitch. Yeah, so if you're like at like right about five grand and you let off as you're like passing like, you know, Mercedes or something, yeah. I'm here, I'm gonna clean up a little spot on the side skirt for Mike. There's a little kind of, little scuff that needs polished up. It just looks like it's paint transfer. So I'm gonna take care of that. It's right down there on the side skirt. You guys might not be able to see it on here. There's a little scuff right here. We're gonna take that out. Not that you guys can really see it, but good as new. So what I was using was a little three inch Rupes polisher. Uh, and I ended up using Jess Car Correcting Compound. I did bring Sonax Perfect Finish in case we had to two-step it. Uh, and what I ended up using was just a microfiber cutting pad from Meguiar's and the, again, the Jess Car Correcting Compound that took everything right out. Um, and it actually finished out really nice uh, that I didn't have to use this pad, but if I did have to finish, I would've used just a Rupes Yellow Foam Pad along with Sonax Perfect Finish to clear it all out but uh yeah my little to-go bag if i gotta go mobile just a little rupez bag power strip in there can throw a bunch of stuff in there but uh if you're wondering what i was using i'll have all the links down below before this video goes any further i wanted to pause and thank you for today's video sponsor mobile tech rx if you recall a couple videos back i did a whole video about this kind of new modern detailing tool and how cool it is. Well, they're coming out with a new feature, a new update to their app. Remember, it's an, a mobile app that you can maintain your clients, your client base, you can create work orders, you can create invoices, you can do everything from one app with detailing. I'll have that link up in the card. I'll have the full video where I go through that and show you an example of that video, but they have a new feature about scheduling coming out. So now you can schedule your appointments, your clients right through this app, get all your calendar notifications, get everything right through that app. And it really is a nice new tool, a nice new feature update that it has been coming. Uh, where it helps me is I have a day job. So a lot of you guys know that I don't do YouTube full time. I don't do detailing full time and it's helped me be able to schedule and plan things out. I work off of my calendar, my on my personal calendar, my work calendar, everything. And this update's gonna really allow me to plan out my schedule and work with the customers and send them updates and, and do everything right from that app. So if you guys are a detailer or you're looking to get into detailing, make sure you guys check out Mobile Tech RX. I'll have everything in the links in the description below. Go check them out. So I got a little bit of a Porsche update for you guys. I mean, well, not much has changed, but there is one thing in the back here that you may or may not notice. Looks a little different than a traditional GT4. You guys remember I had the Salter Aero uprights. Now, I swapped those out for some RSNV ones. They're just a little bit, I think, more OEM looking. They're shorter in this piece right here. The Salters were probably, I would say, about another half inch to an inch longer. So I think these look a little bit more natural and nicer, but 
The other thing that I did to the wing here, and this is a new product alert, they're not out yet, but the same people, RSNV, that made the uprights are making GT3 RS style end plates. There's some adhesive on here basically, but pop those off. And these are the prototypes that I'm helping test out for them. And I think it's a night and day difference. Now, if you don't know what the original end plates look like, I have them tucked away, but they were just basically color matched, flat, and they were maybe like this big. So they weren't anything special. I also like how the color of these broke up kind of the wing a little bit, just very GT3 RS style, makes the rear end look much better. Other than that, there's not much else to it. You guys remember a long time ago, probably about, uh, let's say maybe a little less than a year ago, my buddy Bradley came up from Naples Auto Armor and we did a full clear brawl on this car. That has been holding up excellent. I have zero issues with it. The car has been perfect, super easy to clean. And I've just been driving the crap out of it. I know you guys haven't seen much content from me, but just been grinding and grinding and grinding. Hopefully, I have the predecessor of this car that's rumored to be coming, and I'll give you a clue. Uh, it ends with RS. Uh, I'm on the list for that. McLaren, Philly, Porsche, Mainline. If you're watching, I really hope you guys can pull through for me and get me that car. Let me put the camera down. Give you kind of a little bit of a two second update. So, like I said, I know I've been a little MIA lately, but um, the last probably two, three months have been just pretty pretty busy for me. Um, you guys know a couple videos back in that video, I had said I, you know, with the pandemic and everything that's going on um, in, in what I do in my career path in, in IT and, and healthcare and all that, the point where I've just been working nonstop. So for the last month and a half or so, um, I made a decision to take my career a, a step up. Um, and, and it has a little bit more responsibilities, but basically started a new job, went through countless interviews. It's gonna be a grind to, to get up to speed in that and to really you know get comfortable with that, but it's an investment that hopefully should free up my nights and weekends and, and get some content out for you. I had a lot planned for this summer, uh, with with the track in the GT4 and, and you know you saw some of the Raptor stuff I was hoping to make a trip uh, a little down south with the Raptor that kind of got axed and um, I just, just want to get some content out for you guys so hopefully the mixture between the new gig getting up to speed and freeing up some time will also allow me to make some more content for you guys spend some more time with my girlfriend um, and family and, and do all that so I appreciate all you loyal subscribers who um, you know are still still with me and in it you know I don't make content just to make content I don't make videos just to put a video out so that's why you see the gaps you know I, I want to bring you guys valued content content that I would watch content that you know I'm sure you guys would watch so um, bear with me you know uh, if I got some cool stuff coming up you better bet your butts that I'll be bringing you guys along as, as best I can so um, just Hang in there with me if you guys want to follow me on Instagram at Troy Sowers. I am always posting on there. You can interact with me on there. You can comment. You can, you know, like, get a hold of me there. DM me there. If you guys have any cool video ideas that you think you want to see me do, whether it's detailing, it's Porsche, it's Raptor content, whatever, let me know. Comment below. Tell me. Uh, maybe I'll do a Q and A here soon. You guys can ask me some questions. Uh, the new gig is in my Instagram bio. I won't say it on here. I'll make you guys go check it out on uh, on my Instagram bio if you want to see what I'm getting into. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking in there. I appreciate you guys hanging in there. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. See you guys in the next video.